Hey everybody, Canadian a uh, MTG aka TT Dubs coming to you guys with a new Magic the Gathering video. I know it's been months and there have been lots of requests to continue to do this content on my channel. So here it is, I have for you guys today a Simic Graphs deck. This is a budget popper uh, GU deck aka Simic. My favorite type of deck as you guys may have known my most viewed video on YouTube is my Simic deck deck back when Return to Ravnica was literally the standard of the time. And you know it's been quite a while. But anyways, uh, the credit goes to Mr. JRL Lupus, or J Mr. Junior Lupus. I don't know why I was reading that out of letters, but Mr. Junior Lupus. Um, this deck was actually sent to me a little while ago via message on YouTube, so I'm like, why not? I always love to do deck decks for you guys, especially since magic is my all-time favorite thing in the world other than girlfriend, so yeah, it's, it's pretty close, though. Anyways, 30 creatures, 11 instants, uh, 18 land, 1 sorcery, and 13 sideboard. Remember, your sideboard can have up to 15 cards to choose from. I don't believe it has to be 15. I believe it can literally be anywhere from 1 to 15 cards, but it can't be more than that. Anyways, if you guys want a brief description of the deck, you guys can read this. I'll have a link to the deck in the description below, so you guys can read the description. I'm going to go with the deck right now. Uh, once I get into my building my own Simic deck again, I will go over that via more in-depthitude, I guess. So without further ado, we have four Aqua Strand Spider. Um, now this deck uses a lot of the grafting mechanic as well as like using uh, spiders and shit like that. So we have a 2 cost, 0-0 zero, zero graph 2. This creature enters the battlefield with two one, one counters on it. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may put a one, move a 1-1 one, one counter from this creature to, onto it. So literally, grafting is you take counters from one card, you put it onto another. Uh, this deck literally costs under 20 bucks, so if you guys want to have a fun deck to play that isn't super powerful and modern, but is decent and modern, then you guys can check out this deck. We have 3 Festival Ride 4, which is a 4 cost 3-3 three, three, Trample and Morbid. You know when it, uh, it enters the battlefield, 2-1-1 one, one counters on a creature die this turn. Um, this is good if like you have like instances or anything like that, you kill off a creature. And then you bring this guy out, and then he comes out with as a 5 5 for 4. So, right there, with Trample, he's really good because then Trample also does pretty much what Yu Gi Oh! players call piercing damage. So, yeah. You got 2 Lanawar Augur, which is a 1 cost 0 3 sacrifice Lanawar Augur. Target, target feature. Feature? What the frick is a feature? Creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until the end of the turn. Play this ability only during your upkeep. So this guy's ability literally only works during your upkeep. So when when you draw your card, then this guy triggers. You sacrifice him, and it's not you may sacrifice. This guy literally has to be sacrificed. So someone on your field is automatically getting plus three, plus three, and uh, getting trample. It's a great cheap card to put in. Um, I don't know if Lanamore Elves is banned, but if Lanamore Elves is still viable, then I can see that being in here too. We got Nest Invader, which is a 2-2 two, uh, two, two for 2, and when Nest Invader enters the battlefield, put a 0-1 color, so it draws a spawn creature token onto the battlefield, and that sacrifices creature, add 1 to your mana pool. Um, just another way to get mana. Like, if the token dies, then you literally can just get mana from it. It's, well... It not really dies if you sacrifice it. And it's just pretty good because if you need to get out another creature, let's say you have a you just need like one colorless man to get something epic out. But you wanted this guy out too because he's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Well, ta-da, now you have more room. We have uh Ren Claude Trout, which is a three cost, uh two colorless, one hybrid, white or black or green. And for 2 2 with Wither, this creature deals damage to creatures with only minus 1 1. Thing. So, you, know, you attack the creature, then you do minus 1 minus 1 to it instead of actually doing 2 2. And it persists when this creature is put into a graveyard from the play. It had no 1 1 count, minus 1 1 counters on it. You return it to play under the owner's control with a minus 1 1 minus 1 count. So, if this creature dies, it comes back. 
if it didn't have any minus one, minus one counter zone, which I'm pretty sure it won't, it'll come back as a one, one creature pretty much. We got four Simic initi uh, Initiates, which is a one cost, zero, zero, graft one. We all know what graft does, so pretty, pretty basic if you're grafting. This is the old style Simic uh, deck tech, or deck type graft. Uh, later on, they added the counters. The counter one will be uh, in this video as well. I hope you guys enjoy my mic yet, or my um, mouse dance. We have Thrumming Bird, which is a bird horror, one, one for one, or one, one for two. Flying whenever Thrumming Bird deals combat damage to a player for replicate, and that means all 1-1 one, one counters, in fact counters, they all go off. And then we got, we got the three copies of Hoop Drake, which is a 2-1 one for 1. Now this thing is awesome looking. Flying Haste and Echo, if you don't play Zekko Cast, it dies. Pretty basic. We got the Vigian Hydropon. Which is a 0-0 zero, zero for 3, 1 colorless, uh, 1 green, 1 blue. Now this, I never actually played the old school Simic, so I am always excited to dive into Simic. And this is as Graft 5, and can attack a block, so... Literally all Vigian Hydropon is used for is to move its counters to another creature. You know, you get a, like, let's say, Thrumming Bird, or, uh, Professor High 4, you just pump it on to that guy. Then we got, uh, it's funny because a lot of the uh, instances are cards that I actually know because I played during that time. We got Bio Shift. I use this card a lot in my deck and I found it really, really useful. It's move any number of 1-1 one, one counters from a target creature onto another target creature with the same control. And it's uh, either blue or green cost. And I really like this because let's say you want to use a creature but you need to power it up more because let's say you need flying because you need to get over something but doing no damage or something like let's say it's zero one flying and you're like okay shift this thing what was it cloudfin raptor this card was great with my cloudfin raptor i absolutely loved it we got four hunger of the howl pack which is a one cost put a one one counter on creature morbid put three one one counters on it if a creature died this turn Pretty basic, you just pump up your creatures. You got two Steady Progress, which is a three gods proliferate and then dry card. Pretty basic, pretty standard. Um, and this guard was big because it's the Scars block, you know, Scars, uh, Scars, Siege, and Euphorexia? Yeah, Euphorexia. Where Infectious Siege. Then we got three vines of basswood, which is a kicker cost, and then you can do target creature can't be target spells or abilities, and then it also gets plus four plus four if you kicked it. So literally for a cost of two green. Only two green does it get that big buck. It is literally you'll be spending four bucks on this or well, I guess three bucks on this card. So literally out of the thirteen dollars that this deck is, vines of basswood is your most expensive card. We got ten forest, four island, and then or going with falls, which is your typical uh, enters tap, gain one life, and you can add the other green and blue ones. Um, I recommend you using the uh, burn lands or any of the other hybrid lands if you want to build this deck like big time. I am a huge fan of Simic, and I'll probably always run Simic no matter what the uh, format is. That or Orzhov, I love the white black combination as well. We got Thrive, which is a 1-1 one, one counter on each of X target creatures. So, one green, but then you can pay, like, let's say 10 mana, and voila, you now have the ability to give 10 1-1 one, one counters to creatures. So, once again, really good card. Then we got for our sideboard, we have the spell, which is your counter. We got Echoing Truth, which returns cards to the hand. Hand? Yeah. Uh, Lignify, which is your enchant, which literally just creates a tree code guard, I guess. I, I believe I can, you know, it only turns to creatures, so like, if you don't want to use Llanowar Augur anymore, as Llanowar Augur, you can use Lignify and just create a of into a wall. Uh, Newton's Prey, which is another 1-1 one, one counter, or, uh, can't, yeah, counter. Uh, Natural Slate, which destroys artifact with Converted Manifest to uh, A lot of modern is really just quick, powerful cards, so... Having the ability to destroy cards like that is useful. And then we got Save Holy Leaf, which is a 2-2 two, two for 2 with Persist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deck tech. I will have my own Simic deck tech posted within the next week or so. 
Uh, if you guys like this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys uh, next time for some more Magic the Gathering content. Peace out, guys.